What's new in CloudBeast CI 2.452.1.2? On May 15, 2024, CloudBCI 2.452.1.2 .2 was released. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the changes that occurred within that release. Also on May 15, Jenkins LTS 2.452.1 .1 was released. On May 16, I did a video with Mark Waite talking about all the changes that were specific in that release. If you'd like more details about that, a link to that video is down in the description. Now, if you've never taken a look at the release notes for CloudBCI before, let me show you how to get there. We're first going to be starting at docs.cloudbees.com. Under Documentation, we're going to select CloudBees CI. Then, under the Documentation dropdown, we're going to select Release Notes. And here we're on the landing page for all of the release notes for CloudBees CI. Now, I want to go ahead and call out this important block that's at the top of the page. If you skip versions when you upgrade, refer to previous versions of the release notes for any relevant known issues or upgrade notes. What does that mean? Well, again, the release we're talking about today is 2.452.1.2. Let's say I'm upgrading from 2.440.2.1. I would want to go ahead and check the release notes for 2.440.3.7, 2.440.3.8, and then also the release notes for 2.452.1.2, and make sure that we don't have any known issues or upgrade notes that we need to apply as we're going through these versions. As a CloudBCI client, we recommend an assisted update to help make that update process easier. There is a link down in the description about how to get help with an assisted update. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the release notes for traditional platforms, and then we'll take a look at the release notes specifically for modern cloud platforms. So under traditional platforms, we have a brand new feature with this release. With this release, we have the CloudBeast Pipeline Explorer new pipeline map. What this means is you are now able, within CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, to have a visualization or a map of the pipeline as it ran. It gives you a quick and intuitive understanding of the entire pipeline structure at a glance. So if you've been holding off on trying out CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, now is the time to do it. Because not only do you get everything that you had before in looking at the logs and the filtering and the searching, but now you also get a full visualization or a map to take a look at your pipeline. So let's go ahead and scroll down into feature enhancements. Two that I want to call out specifically. The first one, support for other organization folders and other item properties. Now, up until this point, GitHub organizations, Bitbucket projects, and GitLab projects were the only organization type folders that could be used within CloudBees configuration as code or CASC. With this release, now you're able to import and export other organization folders by adding your own SCM Navigator class. The other item that I want to go ahead and call out is at the bottom of feature enhancements. What we'll see here is now Docker image signatures are now generated by using Cosign V2. Now, if you've not used Cosign before, it is a way to verify the validity of an image. So up until this point, CloudBees was using Cosign version one to sign the images. From this point forward, from 2.452.1.2 forward, we're gonna be using Cosign V2. So if you're wanting to validate the signatures on the images, now you'll need to start using Cosine V2. Let's go ahead and scroll down to resolved issues. There are a number of issues that were fixed for both CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, for HA, and for CASC. But one that I want to go ahead and call out specifically is inbound shared agents aligned with new remoting CLI options. Now, prior to this release, there were some options removed from the configuration GUI about how to set up agents, but that didn't apply as well to inbound shared agents. So now with this release, all of that has now been brought together and has been fixed. And again, as I mentioned before, there are a handful of fixes for both high availability. There's also some fixes for the CloudBees HashiCorp Vault plugin and for CloudBees Pipeline Explorer. Now let's go ahead and go back over and take a look at the items that are specific to modern cloud platforms. So we'll go back, click on the full release notes for modern cloud platforms. One new feature specifically for this release is Kubernetes 1.28 and Red Hat OpenShift 4.15 are now officially supported with CloudBCI 2.452.1.2 and forward. So if you've been waiting to upgrade your Kubernetes clusters to 128, this is the version of CloudBCI that has been confirmed to work on that version. Let's go ahead and scroll down to our resolved issues. Everything in feature enhancements are exactly the same as traditional. And what we'll see here is there are three items that are specific for modern cloud platforms. This first one here is where some environment variables could be lost, that's been fixed. Also, we only want to generate network policies for selected components 
Again, that's been fixed. And finally, if you're running on AWS EKS, there was a problem with network policies that has also been fixed. Now, I want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the upgrade notes. At the beginning of the video, I was talking about making sure you understand what the known issues are and the upgrade notes. For this version, if we take a look at the upgrade notes, there is one item in the upgrade note. With this version of Jenkins LTS 2.452.1, the people view was removed completely from Jenkins. So if you were in the past using and dependent upon the people view, what you can do now is install the people view plugin in order to bring that feature back. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.